have something for myself kama ni pesa nitajiwekea kidogo that's why it happens in most families or with women tutakuwa na pesa maybe kama ni achama my husband ataniuliza pesa nitamkopa na atarudisha and so it happens maybe uh, you are not seeing any what is your development oriented kuna mwingine maybe ako west of um ni sijui ni sema west or some, something like that um mwingine ako slow something like that as well so wakati or as women so zingine tukiambiwa if our husband want to do development tutapeleka um maneno maneno so maybe if it's a man atajaribu kufanya development asikuambie as a woman or as a family ama some someone ako slow in development oriented so you decide maybe you do something without him or her so how to synchronize that when such happens maybe mwingine ni wester mwingine ako slow in development na sa zingine as women sa zingine nataka kujiwekea something if something happens like the other weeks to the other days to kwa tunasoma like you can sustain yourself so if i don't have something for myself if something happens in marriage i will not be able to sustain myself so lazima nijeke ka kitu kidogo kando yeah okay thanks for that question sometimes that i inakuwa self fulfilling prophecy unajua hivyo kuna sometimes it can become a self fulfilling prophecy because you are already prepared for it eh? So I know that uh, you can be in a marriage and both of you are different normally na kwa hivyo so you complement one another Now I'm not opposed to somebody keeping something for themselves but you need to communicate You know there's a difference there's privacy and there's secrecy Secrecy is whereby you are hiding something intentionally na unaficha utaki mtu mwingine ajue secrecy but there's privacy where you, they are aware you may not disclose the amount but they are aware that there is this that I'm keeping at such and such a place so privacy is okay you communicate but secrecy is the problem because you are keeping secrets now the question is why don't you address the issue if for example mtu ana waste you know you can have a discussion i know you can't change someone but you can have a discussion and you know it's okay to tell somebody that by the way I would really love that we put our money together but because of abcd i am struggling i don't think i'm going to have to put the money together because of abcd it's good to communicate that so once you have communicated either the issue will be addressed or not but you need to communicate and then the advice of kama mwanamke jieke kitu where is it coming from because always there is a context ukiona somebody anakuambia hivyo akona context maybe wherever they were they were in a union whereby the partner had mpango wa kando the partner was likely to even be in a polygamous union na alikuwa anajua if we put everything together in a kitty watoto wengine ama watu wengine watakuja from outside and they are going to have to also partake of the family property maybe it's coming from there there's always a context now your context may be different it may be important to address the specific issue Now if you had I said if you address the specific issue and it's not changing you can actually communicate you don't have to say the exact amount or whatever but let the person be aware that this is what I am doing in fact I think many people will appreciate unless there's another underlying issue wakijua ya kwamba ah mama so and so usually would be having something you know they will appreciate but unless usually there could be an, an, an underlying issue a communication issue because when everybody start hiding kila mtu anaanza kuweka then you will find that there is no suspicion i mean there is a lot of suspicion hata unapata there are some homes i see imagine there is no bread let's say for breakfast watoto wanakuwa toast from one partner to another ambia mama yenu akununulie ambia baba yenu anunue imagine it's so unfair ama hata pocket money children are being tossed here and there ambia babako anunue ambia babako ambia mamako and the children again i will just keep going back that you communicate but overall let me say this the way people are running their families or whatever there is always a context na hiyo context pengine may not be your context like many times when i tell people about joint account i don't know whether i told you this My husband and I opened a joint account after our honeymoon. So to lend a bank, we have been married for maybe a week. To lend a bank, that time it was Barclays Bank, now it's Absa. To kind of kufungua joint account. To lend another lady there looked at me. I can be are you two married? I said yeah. 
And she said, are you sure you want to open a joint account? I said, yes. She said, you're sure? We have seen a lot of things here. I said, yes, I'm serious. So we go ahead, we open a joint account. Then she asks me, she asks us, is it for either to sign or both to sign? I said, either to sign. Either, either of us can withdraw money. She took time, she said, how long have you been married? I said, you know, something like a week. So maybe like, she saw I was very naive. She said, why can't you have it both of you to sign? I said, no, because sometimes I may be busy. One of us may be busy. It's easier for one of us to do what to sign. She said, just think about it. But she put us either to sign. We have held that joint account for 21 years now, when you've been married, 21 years. We have that joint account. And like right now, I'm here. My husband called me in the morning. He told me we were doing a certain transaction and he needed some money. So he called me to tell me I need to go and withdraw the money. Because now, ever since now, we have an alert. So when he withdraws, anybody withdraws, an alert will come to my phone. So he needed to let me know so that I can kutoa, nikipata alert ni jue. So I can yambia, there is a transaction that has come up. I need to go and withdraw money. So he went to withdraw the money because I need ATM, unanda kwa bank, unatua pesa for 21 years. But I would not recommend everybody that open a joint account because your circumstance may be different and mine is different. So evaluate the, the person you are with and then decide what to do. When we were building our home, because my husband was in charge of buying the materials and everything, I went, I took a loan, I put it in his account because I wasn't going to be available, I was expecting our last one. So I took the entire loan and when I was giving the account where the money is going, I just indicated it to be put in his account. So he would go buy materials and akuja jion in an Excel sheet and anionyesha up to the last nail. But in Mambia, no, I don't need to see what you have bought. He says, no, no, no. So he has documented, he has files on the expenditure to our home. But I just told him I don't need to see because I trust you. If I didn't trust you, I was not going to put this money in your account in the first place. Will I tell everybody to do that? No. People are different. So evaluate your situation. But whatever decision you do, please communicate. Like don't, usifanya vitu siri siri. Just be a person who walks in the light. You communicate, you just say, for this reason, I'm willing, but uh, circumstances are that for now, I'm not going to do it. So that you are not going to walk in darkness. You, walk, you don't let, again, as we said, somebody to change you. Is that clear? <laughs> You're smiling, you're surprised. Huh? In, in even on December. Situations are very different. But for me, I would like to do unto others the way I would done unto me. Like I want someone, I want to do to someone the way they do it unto me. But if I gave my husband money, this one I must say, if I gave him money and he, I got evidence that he has squandered the money, I will never give him again. You understand? So, I will so I'm not doing it blindly. I'm saying this, this person has not given me any reason whatsoever to doubt his financial expenditure. I doubt he will give me. But if he ever gave me, I will be foolish to still continue doing this because I will not be a good steward. You see, you are not a good steward when you are giving and somebody is squandering, okay? But again, I will begin rethinking because sometimes unajua, what we do is that we bury our heads in the sand. You know, sometimes there's an issue we need to address. But to Naenda Tuki, we bury our heads in the sand when the fundamental issue is, can this person then really even be trusted? You know, when you think about it, can this person be trusted? So I totally agree. Situations are different. Please manage whichever situation with wisdom, but always remember to communicate and deal with the root issue. Because you can be dealing with surface issues, but then you find there are underlying issues that you have not addressed. Okay, yes, next. Mm, I was uh, asking my fellow uh, Christians, there is a scenario which occurred on 2013. There is a certain lady who went to bank for more than 15 years. Uh, she requested uh, she was given 2.5 million. So this lady, ali, walikuwa wameongea na bwanake wakareta pesa kwa nyumba. Kuna investment walikuwa wanafanya. The husband aliamkanga saa saba ya usiku akatoroka na hiyo pesa. Actually vile alitoroka na hiyo pesa 
ni kama alikuwa amecommunicate kwa nyumbani so the lady when she she realized the money is not in aliibidi aka mustana akapiga simu kwa kina kijana akawaambia we were sleepy and the frani ayuko so the moment parents wakamwambia atujamuona so yule mstana akajaribu kufuatilia kwa marafiki akasikia jamaa wake ako Nairobi so yule jamaa ilifika saa 8 ya usi, ya mchana akamwandikia text akamwambia i no longer wa, uh, want your services in my in my homestead nisikupate ukienda huko it is not the first time actually so me as a christian i was telling my fellow ladies if you don't trust your man even if you trust him inaweza fika mahali hip ah watu waeleweki so ni vizuri hii pesa if at all if at all you don't trust this person number two, kama hakika ujaripiwa dauri ama ukimshuku don't do that because most ladies in kisi town we have seen them perishing we have seen them dying because of these loans asante watch any comment before you comment that's a very good point you have said eh? na in fact hata umeongea vizuri kusema ya kwamba don't even trust somebody who jalipi wa dauri that's not even a husband in fact in the first place what are you doing with that person you see if somebody if somebody is getting the milk why are they buying the cow nauliza tu so in the first place we should you even be cohabiting with someone you need to regularize have things in order in the first place yeah so that's not even a husband that's some other male human being you found another thing is this yeah and <laughs> another thing is this let me tell you something let me tell you most of the time somebody will not be stealing 2.5 million for the first time huyu unajua saa zingine i've kept on talking about us looking at the root cause unajua many of these things they begin during dating unajua hizi vitu zinaanza mapema sana let me ask a certain lady told me she has been with the husband for over 10 years the issues they're having right now is he's just at home she works he takes all the money because they have a joint account takes all the money goes to drink it everything he goes to drink and ride bikes and everything i told her this has not started now i told her take me back she said when they were dating when they were dating this guy was driving the father's car akamuomba pesa amweke mafuta they were both students kamwambia i need to go to such and such a place fuel for me the car she fueled the car i told her the natural instinct of a healthy man i have said it is to protect provide secure if you find a man who is asking you as the woman you are dating umpatie pesa aende anakuomba a healthy man will not borrow the girlfriend money that for he won't he will borrow from him surely from the bank or from his guy friends that's true because he wants to show that he can take care of you so if this creature this person borrows money then you go ahead and you marry them now you call that a husband no you already saw that from that a con man so if by the time the con man is stealing 2.5 million he has always been a con man so sa zingine unajua what tunasema these people change they don't they just become more of who they are but sometimes we are blinded you know the bible says let me read for you something i'm going to give you a chance but i think i need to read for you something because people say oh you know we love each other we love each other and we'll make it work let me tell you what the book of proverbs says chapter 24 verse 3 and 4 by wisdom a house is built by understanding it is established by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge you know there are many people who divorce and they love each other there are many people who are struggling in their marriages and they love each other because they lack knowledge they lack wisdom so what you need to build your home is knowledge is wisdom so unapata we have started on a wrong foundation so by the time mtu anachukua 2.5 million sasa ona when someone hears that story they can be with a healthy person and then they will start hiding because they're saying eh this other woman alibiwa 2.5 million wacha na mimi niweke but you see this your husband is not a con man i mean there are people who are honest your wife is not a con man so you start treating your person who is straightforward like a con man they wonder what have i done because msikio msima he ule nani alifanywa hivyo wacha na mimi nijipange so it becomes a self fulfilling prophecy you break your own home which was not like that unapata for example this guy is dating maybe you, you've liked a girl 
mnasikiza na mkutane mahali anakuitisha fair then you go ahead and marry this female creature that is just out to consume then you start saying wanawake ni pesa tu anakuitisha fair fair to come and meet you alafu ukiona kama anakuja vitu zenye anaitisha unashangaa the things they are eating you wonder they are eating they are eating paka unashangaa guy huyu mtu anakula hivi kweli ni mtu wa kujenga huyu ni mtu wa kumaliza it is a consumer so you marry Delilah the consumer then you think you can convert them to be Abigail the wise woman Delilah can never be Abigail and you saw it from the beginning they want to exploit you ukiingia kama ni supermarket they are picking this they are picking the other Angalia just be keen sometimes it's good to be students of life wait wait just look at how somebody is picking things and you start wondering do you really need all these things besides that kama ni pesa yako would you really have bought all these things so when they are picking they don't change they don't ama they start asking you for fair one man actually was showing me text ako amepata msichana the girl is saying nitumie so tano ya chakula ya food Just send me some 500 for food. Then kidogo nitumie some ya rent taki nafungiwa nyumba. He showed me the messages. All the messages the girl has sent him anamuitisha pesa. All the messages. Then I told him surely, do you think you have a wife here? All the messages. She even has no shame. Hata asemi at high what what. Maybe anasema please nitumie 500 ni kostak mahali. I said if you marry this one, don't start accusing all women. It's not all women. It's because of the person you have married Delilah accept and they never hid it. They showed you, but you thought you will change them. You can't change somebody who is not in diapers. <laughs>